Hi folks, I want to talk to you today about gas geysers and specifically gas geysers on your insurance policy. It's important to get the right sort of cover and get the right understanding of gas geysers because they're various types. Uh, gas geyser doesn't just mean everything is exactly the same. You get a fan forced, you get a constant heat, you get a low pressure gas geyser. So one needs to understand what is actually installed. You get various sizes. If you look at this geyser in comparison to that geyser you can see they're two different sizes you get different means of starting a gas geyser you've got batteries that will start a gas geyser which don't need an electrical supply or you have a system that r requires an AC connection and without an AC or grid connection it will not start but the most important thing is it's driven by a lot of sensors and a lot of components that work on the that work in the gas geyser. Um, flow controls. The unit is driven completely by flow and the faster the water comes in, the faster it comes out. One needs to restrict the flow of water coming in in order for it to burn hot enough so that the end result is water coming out at the desired temperature. You have to throttle the water in order to achieve the desired temperature by slowing it down long enough to flow through the geyser to reach that temperature. If your water's coming in at, call it 10 degrees in the middle of winter, if you're hoping to achieve 60 degrees, you have a few seconds for that water to come in, burn as hot as, as, hot as it, it needs to burn to get 60 degrees out. You've got sensors, you've got a number of things that are going to manage that. Just, just the dispelling of heat through what we call the flue, which is be a chimney that sits up, just the, the angle and the position of the flue is so critical in terms of the functionality because if this unit can't dispel the heat, it stops the functionality of the geyser and, and, and limits the, the performance of the system. So again, I come back to it because it's just a geyser. Come on guys, can't you get it right? It's just a geyser. It's not just a geyser when you're dealing with so many little electronic components, so many little sensors, water incoming, outgoing flu sensors, temperature sensors, um, various various, various um, uh, controls in terms of flow restrictions and the most important part is the gas. The gas is a completely separate item altogether and on the gas line you've got regulators etc. It's not uncommon for us to get to site, find that the installation has been done not to standard or quite poorly and then have to piece together the repairs which are often not the case and not easy to do. It's not the insurer's responsibility to reinstall the geyser ideally when the system is not functioning as a result of an in installation flaw. Cost to maintain a geyser like the, a, a gas geyser is, 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 is also quite a costly thing. It's, 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 not, it's not designed to just constantly be working. There is an amount of descaling that should take place uh, in order to keep the flow and the circulation uh, optimal and to make sure that the heating exchanger works and it's functioning properly. Thank you.